Installing Raycam JBS 100. The Raycam JBS 100 is a power connection kit for a single heat tracing cable. First, allow about 24 inches, 600 millimeters of heating cable for installation. Cut the heating cable end at about 45 degrees. Apply lubricant for easier insertion into the stand. Push 18 inches, 450 millimeters of heating cable through the stand. Now, square off the cable end with a 90 degree cut, but do not attach to the pipe yet, and proceed to stripping the end of the cable. When stripping Raycam self-regulating heating cables, you should be aware that conventional cable stripping techniques are not appropriate. Let's look at a correct way to strip a self-regulating heating cable. Before stripping the cable, refer to the kit installation instructions for the exact length of each cut. When stripping the Raycam self-regulating cables, use the Raycam SR stripping tool or utility knife. To remove the outer jacket, lightly score the jacket around and down, being careful not to cut too deep into the braid. Bend the heating cable to break the jacket at the score and peel it off. Then take an awl tool or a pointed screwdriver, make a small window in the braid and bend the cable. Work around the cable and open enough of the braid to pull the cable out. Bend the braid back out of the way and lightly score the inner jacket around and down to peel off the inner jacket. For XTV-CT cable, remove the exposed black fibers of the heating element, cutting them flush with the inner jacket. Then remove the spacer between the bus wires and trim even with the jacket. For cables BTV-CT and QTVR-CT, Remove the inner jacket and cut down to the black core. Cut a notch in the end. Use needle nose pliers to peel back one of the bus wires and remove all black core to expose both wires. Now with the cable inserted into the JBS 100, mark 5 eighths of an inch, 16 millimeters, on the inner jacket. Retwist and straighten wires. Insert them into the core sealer guide tubes and push core sealer onto the heating cable to the mark made previously. Now remove the guide tubes. Slip green-yellow tube onto the braid, trim bus wires and braid leaving half an inch, 13 millimeters protruding out. Pull the heating cable back into the stand so that one inch, 25 millimeters, is exposed. When fastening the stand to the pipe, use the appropriate number of straps indicated in the installation instructions. Be careful to run the pipe strap under the heating cable to prevent cable damage. A small pipe adapter can be used for 1 inch 25 millimeter pipes or smaller. This prevents the cable from being crushed by the stand. Next, be sure to tighten the box completely onto the stand so that the grommets seal properly and install the cable tie so the box will not rotate. Conduct an insulation resistance test of the cable to ensure it was not damaged during the installation and record the results. Next, to connect the bus wires and braids to the terminal blocks firmly, insert a flat blade screwdriver into the square hole to open the spring. The screwdriver will lock into place, allowing you to move your hand and insert the wire into the round hole. Then remove the screwdriver to clamp the wire. Use the same procedures to install the power wires into the terminal blocks. If you have a connection kit with a signal light, simply plug in the light module into the terminal blocks before installing the lid. Finally, stow the wire into the enclosure and fasten the lid in place. Finish by taping the service loop to the pipe to complete your installation of JBS 100. Depending on the wiring methods for your region, please use the appropriate conduit or power cable. The JBS 100 can be installed in different directions. If the JBS 100 is installed downwards, knock out the drain hole in the pipe stand. If you have any questions, contact your local Pentair representative or visit us at www.pentairthermal.com